Hello everyone. So today we have Mr. Susil Kumar Pradhan. So welcome Susil. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Mr. Susil is uh, almost in the completion side of his PhD journey. So please tell us about your uh, academic background and how did you decide? How did you decide that you want to do PhD? And what is your career aspiration? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am Sushil Kumar Pradhan, uh, currently pursuing my PhD degree from KIT University and uh, my uh, main topic is all about the strategic management. My background is science. I completed my graduation uh, with computer science honors. I was a BSc student and after that, uh, what I decided that not to go with the MCA, I decided to go with the MBA. So uh, during my MBA, my specialization was marketing and HR. Uh, during the two years of the period of the time, I found marketing as one of uh, the interesting subject. So I thought of uh, doing the uh, higher studies. So once I had completed my MBA, uh, then I applied for the net exams. However, I could not clear at that time. Uh, but the interest was still there. Then after that, I had applied for different universities. And uh, finally, I got the admission in the Kids School of Management. And uh, right now, I am into the final stage uh, where I am expecting that within one or two months, my PhD is going to be completed. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. So here, your uh, area is strategic management or marketing? Yeah, it's uh, strategic management, the sub part of marketing. Okay, okay. Okay. So, what are the career uh, opportunities available for a scholar? Let's say most of the time, most of the time, scholars wants to go in a teaching profile. Just imagine somebody does not want to go in academics. So, unke paas kya kya opportunities hai once they complete their PhD degree. Okay. Uh, most of the scholars they go with the academics part only. Uh, but however, there are different uh, options are there. You can go with a consultancy farm as well. Uh, you can join in any organization where you can be a part of giving any kind of suggestions. Okay. But majorly, I could tell that almost 80 to 90% of the scholars, they go only with the academics part only. Very few are with the uh, uh, companies only. Okay. Okay. Uh, ye, uh, key school of management may selection procedure kya hota hai? somebody wants to take admission in PhD so please tell us about the selection procedure there okay the selection procedure is very simple uh, if you had cleared the NAT exam or you have the JRF degree you do not require to go with the uh, written test but however if you do not have those uh, NAT or JRF degrees or the qualification then simply you have to fill up the form which usually comes in the month of November to December. Okay. And uh, the first stage is all about the written examination where you have to go and uh, appear the exam. There would be two papers, paper one and paper two. The syllabus is completely same as that of the NAT exam. And the stage two is all about uh, your personal interview. Okay, so in the personal interview, you would be asked about your personal questions like from where you have uh, completed your MBA and within that period of the time they would be telling to you that bring a proposal that that is a demo proposal where they would be telling you that how to do a research just simply they want to know that whether you are capable of doing a research work or not okay they will ask you that uh, what is the hypothesis what is sampling or what is the research methodology so they just want to know that whether a student as a that may be a fresher or that may be an experience but whether that candidate is able to uh, go further with the research work or not these are the only two stages to get admission in kids school of management okay okay thank you thank you so much and do you want to share something about uh, how a researcher to be while doing their research work you know? yeah what are the uh, things they need to be taken care of this is uh, this differs from one candidate to another but however i'm telling to you the general things what a research scholar need to have 
okay the very first thing is that the student need to be very serious about his study okay so you cannot take leaps for more than 3 days or 5 days okay because continuously we have to acquire the knowledge of what we are doing okay? right right at the same time we have the pressure on writing the articles we have yeah. the pressure from the supervisors to complete our literature review part we uh -huh. have to make the questionnaire so indirectly a person as a scholar needs to be well acquainted with whatever he is studying second thing he should be very patient because this is a lengthy procedure yes uh, it will consume at least 3 to 4 years of your life okay mm -hmm. so you have to right. be very patient okay right. third thing is that you have to acquire the knowledge from anywhere sources whenever you are getting okay it is not that i am into the fourth year of phd and a first year student is coming and telling to me that this is to be done and this is not to be done okay uh -huh. i have to take the idea from that person too mm -hmm. okay, so these are uh, what i believe these are the three things a student require okay thank you so much thank you so much sushil is there anything you want to share with the viewers uh yeah uh, what i can share with you is that uh, the life after the phd is very good Okay, okay, so if you want to learn something, then only come for the PhD. But if you are thinking that just to get a degree of PhD, it is not worthy. Just if you are interested for the higher studies and you want to be a part of academics, then only just enroll. Uh, but without those aspirations, do not join for a PhD. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience and insight. Thank you so much, Sushil. Okay, thank you, Puneet.